Hey everyone, it's Ryan Howe, Small Business News. For those that don't know, this is the program where I share just some of the information I share with my clients every single day. I am a business coach out of West Michigan and around the country. And yeah, I've got a good one for you here and I hope to earn your subscription. So let's get right into it here. It's the annual survey on employee retention and attraction from Gallup. Again, links to everything we talk about will be in the description in that area. Its employees are open to leaving their organization. One in two, so 50%. So small business owners, Half your folks are looking to leave. They're open to going somewhere else. And for those of you who are employees who are looking to leave or open to it, you're not alone. You have a whole bunch of folks that are there with you. Now, to what extent? This is the top line piece here. 48% answered positively to what extent are you currently looking for a different job other than the one you have now? This is the part where I want to be able to show this. This is why I love being able to bring this type of information to you and to my clients is you can see we're actually been in a a trend upward since 2018. This isn't a recent phenomenon. People since 2018 have been more open to jumping to new spots. And if you remember back to 2018, 2019, there was so much work available everywhere. Like we needed people, but everybody was fully employed and job hopping was definitely one of the things that was happening right there. And it's, uh, it hasn't slowed down any. And this is a demographics piece as well. This is a reminder, 10,000 boomers are leaving the workforce every single day. And do U.S. employees believe now is a good time to find a job? 56% say yes, now is a good time to find a job. However, you notice that's down from 2022. And if we were to draw a line on here, it's actually broken trend to where if you do any charting at all, you'll know once it dips below the trend line, it tends to take a lot for a recovery. And what this is signaling is that it's not a good time for folks to find a job. We know we've been having layoffs, so that's got everybody a little bit worried, right? U.S. employees likelihood to recommend their employer. Look at, now what I really love about this type of data when you can see it. So from 2008 till 2024, there's been like n no change. It's flatlined. So just, just understand that's, you know, that's not that big of a deal. Up next, we're going to look into the four most common themes for leaving a job in 2023, just so folks are aware. Workplace culture it has a pretty big uptick right there, as you can see. And then up next is work schedule. People do not want to leave because your employer is not willing to work with your work schedule. There's an issue with it. It doesn't work for you. And then here, though, you'll note pay and benefits is down. So they're, it's still the highest, but it's not as high as it once was. Uh, what's actually attracting the U.S. employers? Greater work-life balance and a better personal well-being is at the top here. Significantly increases my income, allows me to do what I do best. I love that phrase because, you know, for many of us, if we with the amount of time that we spend at work, we want to be doing the thing that we are best at. So that's great to see. And then greater stability and job security. All right. So that's the end of the survey here. Now with that, how can you use this information? If you're an employee... Again, look, it's just, the biggest piece here, I want you to know you're not alone for sure. Like there's almost half the people are looking to leave their current employer. That's what the numbers are, are bearing out. We've seen that consistently in survey after survey. And now with that though, if you are a small business owner, you're a business owner, how can you use this information? What I am coaching clients to do is to have those stay interviews. Actually go set up those interviews to talk to your team. I would be like, what's keeping you here? What is currently keeping you employed here? And in the future, what would you need to see to continue to keep you employed here? Further, hey, if you're thinking of leaving, what's the main cause or what's making you think about leaving? And just ask those questions. I think you're going to be surprised by some of the answers you get, specifically when you line it up that way. Additionally, you can do those one-on-one -on -one or in group settings, different things. Give it a try. See what works best with your organization. Uh, but don't be afraid to ask those questions. That's the other one that I've, I deal with clients like, why would I ask that? The thing is, if you're not asking your team those questions about what is it about working here that you enjoy so much, they rarely are ever going to tell you the good stuff unless you ask. People generally only speak up when something isn't right. So you have to prime them, prep them, and then give them an opportunity to be able to share that with you. So with that, go check out the survey. The link is in the description there. I hope I earned your subscription today. Uh, take care, and I will see you next time.